Well, dear Mission Innovation Partners, esteemed colleagues, guests, and excellencies, uh, dear MI representatives and friends uh, that are watching us on the live stream around the world, uh, on behalf of the Mexican government, it is a real pleasure for me to welcome you there, here, uh, today in Mexico City to present the expert workshop report of Clean Energy Materials Innovation Challenge, one of the seven challenges uh, of the Global Initiative Mission Innovation. So the name of this report uh, is Materials Acceleration Platform, is this one. Believe me, is beyond state of the art, uh, science, and technology. Uh, first, I would like to recognize and thank CENER and CONACYT and our team Mexico in this in innovation challenge, as well as the very large support teams working tirelessly <clears throat> behind the scenes to make this initiative such a success. Uh, I also want to recognize and thank our co-leaders and partners in this initiative since day one, the U.S. Department of Energy and their teams, including energetics. Last but not least, thank you to the Canadian Institute of Advanced Research, CIFAR, that's the, 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 the way to pronounce it, <laughs> uh, for joining us as partners uh, in the expert workshop, in the report, and in these initiatives going forward. Dear Assistant Deputy Minister Frank de Rossier, uh, welcome to Mexico. It is a pleasure to see you here again. I have the honor to officially announce that the Natural Resources Canada is joining this initiative as the third co-leader and partner. Uh, Minister de Rossier, uh, thank you very much for being here and thank you and the National Resources Canada uh, uh, Ministry uh, for your partnership and leadership in this initiative. Uh, we look forward to continue working with you and with all our MI partners on this innovation challenge. As you all know, Mexico is implementing its ambition and transformative energy reform. The government is committed to executing its long-term strategy and vision and to promote Mexico's transition to a low, low uh, carbon energy. I, I could add low carbon um, and resilient economy. This vision fits perfectly with the goals and aspirations of mission innovation and of this inspiring and ambitious challenge. Innovation will play a key role in accelerating the development of clean energy technologies and the transformation of the energy sector worldwide. This is why Mexico proposed this innovation challenge and is proud to collide it with our North American neighbors and partners. As I stated in Marrakesh in November 2016 at the COP22, I reiterate here today, Mexico is fully committed to mission innovation. Mission innovation is one of the two strategic initiatives launched during the COP21 two years ago. I'm very happy to see that we have been able to keep the momentum of the Paris Agreement, reinforcing its implementation phase. As we will hear today from the lead experts uh, of this initiative, materials discovery is a key element of the innovation cycle in the entire energy sector. It is also a path to disruptive innovation, to create new technologies and create new markets. Thus, the innovation challenge and the milestones that we are celebrating here today will expand the opportunities and will also help accelerate the origin transition to a low carbon economy. Moreover, we celebrate that this innovation challenge and mission innovation are opening the doors to impactful R&D collaborations with our neighbors in North America and globally. In order to elaborate on these opportunities, I now would like to invite the leaders of these efforts to share with us the work done to date, uh, present the report, and to share their inspiring and transformative vision of what is possible going forward, including from our co-leaders from the US and now Canada. Thank you very much indeed. Muchas gracias, buenos días a todos.